Hi, I'm Christy. Today I want to talk about another step on the journey towards independence. As I mentioned last week, not quite two months ago, I received an email from one of AJ's caseworkers saying that there was a possible placement for him in a group home. I've got a link to that post over on the blog. That's at www.havenofhopeforme.com. This was originally posted in April of 2023. Now, let me give you the whole story on this now. So evidently, this organization, the organization that runs this group home, had reached out to me about setting up a time to meet AJ and to let us see the house. But I never received that notification. So when I received this email from his caseworker, I immediately contacted this organization's contact person to set up that meet and greet. I think it was about a week later that we were able to go out to the group home and see things for ourselves. We scheduled the meet and greet for right after AJ got off work one day. My husband and I picked him up from work and headed over. It took us about a half an hour at the beginning of the evening rush hour to get from work to the house, so not too bad. We were immediately impressed with the area. It's in a newer part of town that's still being developed and built up. Now, if you're not familiar with Las Vegas, it's been booming for probably about 30 years. While it slowed down some from its heyday, there are still a number of areas that are being developed with new housing, shopping, and offices going up regularly. This is one of those areas. The subdivision the house is in is a nice one. I consider living there myself and feel safe in the neighborhood. That helped put me at ease with the idea of AJ living there. One of the other residents answered the door with one of the staff members coming up behind him. We talked to him for a few minutes and then toured the house, including AJ's potential room. While we were talking to the staff, one of the other residents came home from work, so we met him briefly. After talking with the staff a bit more, we left. We ended up spending about two hours there. While I was a bit surprised by this, it was also nice to feel accepted and they seemed excited about the possibility of having AJ move into this group home. As my husband noted, the house itself is pretty basic. Four bedrooms for four residents. Great room, which is a combined living room, kitchen, and dining room, a, and a small area where they put some game type entertainment. Now there's a bathroom and a laundry room, and that's it. So, uh, there is a garage, but it's rarely used except for storing the trash cans, and all on one floor. Now, yes, it is simple, but it's very functional and easy for the residents to take care of and to learn how to take care of a house. Not a lot of frills, but more than adequate to meet daily needs comfortably. This particular house has three shifts a day with two staff members on each shift. This means that there is staff awake and available 24 seven. While Edgy doesn't necessarily need quite this level of care or overwatch, it does make me feel a little bit better for his first time out on his own. We met three of the house staff members and one of the managers who oversees several different group homes. All of them were welcoming and more than willing to answer our questions and they seemed very open and friendly. They explained that they eat their meals family style and encourage the residents to interact with each other during the meals. While they encourage social interactions at other times, it sounds like there's also a lot of time when they're off doing their own thing. Now, I still need to confirm that all three meals are eaten family style. Overall, I'm really comfortable with the idea of AJ living here. As I mentioned, there are three other men living in this particular house. The newest current resident is also the closest in age to AJ and moved in a few months ago. He seems really sweet. A bit shy maybe and quiet, but really sweet. The other one that we met on this visit is a few years older than AJ, but was polite when introduced to us. This gentleman has lived in the group home for about half of his life, if I'm under, understanding everything accurately. The third roommate, whom we met briefly during our intake meeting, is older than I am, but also seems to be polite. This man has also been in this group home for quite a few years. It sounds like he keeps to himself quite a bit. Overall, I think there's great potential for the four of them to get along well. From the little bit that I've seen, I think it'll also be a lot like what AJ experienced in his classes throughout his school years. I suspect he may be the highest functioning of the group, but will socialize well with his new roommates. I look forward to seeing how they get along as their relationships develop. We left the house with the promise to think about our decision and get back to them. Honestly, my husband and I both liked and approved of the idea of moving AJ into this particular home. AJ, on the other hand, wasn't quite convinced yet because he is bound and determined to live in his own house by himself. But once we explained that this is the first step into him living on his own, he accepted it and became excited. I asked him a couple days later if he was excited to move. His response, yeah, finally. 
So a couple days after we visited the home, I contacted the appropriate staff and accepted the offer to have AJ move into this group home. It took about a week or a week and a half to get our intake meeting scheduled. And then it was another week and a half until the actual intake meeting. But more on that next week. I wanna spend the next few weeks walking you through this process with us. I realize that every organization works out the details differently, but I suspect the overall process is similar. And if you're anything like me, having any exposure to this process will be helpful, even if what you go through is drastically different. Overall, I'm thrilled for AJ, and I can't wait to see how he adjusts to this new step. I'm really hoping and strongly suspect that he'll absolutely thrive and never look back. And honestly, I couldn't ask for anything more for him. So my question for you this week is this, have you considered moving your loved one out of your home, out of your house? Have you made a decision? Have you followed through with it? I'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences. You can leave me a comment below or you can leave me a comment over on the blog. Again, that's at www.havenofhopeforme.com. This originally posted in April of 2023. If you prefer, you can also email me at Christy, C-H-R-I-S-T-Y, at havenofhopeforme.com. I'm excited and a bit nervous for this next step, but pressing on so that I can continue to say that life is good and there is never a dull moment.